Hi everybody, I'm going to cut back the bud layer today. It's a bit early actually, but we've, because uh, there's still some flowers on them. Um, but we have had a problem, and I'll show you that problem. <coughs> Someone or something has tried to get into the garden over the fence and they've broken the bud layer down so I have no choice really but to cut it back but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back um, fairly harsh but I'm going to cut it back on a above one of these and again above one of these and so that there will be more flowers next year hopefully mm. anyway just to give you a a view just to give you a view of what it looks like now and what it will look like when it's finished there'll be a big gap there of course uh, um, so the first thing is to get the gloves on as normal for me and get some sharp things to cut the bud lay down with and then when I've done that I've cut it small and put it in the green waste bin that's just been emptied in fact they've just been for it at this very moment in time so we'll see how much that fills so uh, the reason I always wear gloves in the garden is that sometimes when I've finished uh, pruning or whatever it is I'm doing I like to paint and draw and I need my hands to be clean to do that which is obvious really and then I get, um, I get something like this for this particular job which I like and it's got um, a double click mechanism on it so you, you go into the to cut the thing off and then the second click is it grips it firmer and gives you a, an easier cut and you can see the blade there I'm going to sharpen that in a minute and that bit there I always clean out every time I've used it so that it sits properly the next time I'm going to use it uh, and if it sits properly it will cut better and that's got to be better for the plant so this is the type of thing I use uh, for sharpening my uh, tools with and I use that on the lawnmower blade as well now to sharpen it I put it at a 45 degree angle and I go from the centre to the edge three times on either side if it doesn't work, if it doesn't feel uh, as though it's sharp enough, I do that once again. And I, I do this every time I uh, use it, these things for a, a big job. And that way I, uh, I don't cause myself undue problems. Uh, I should also say that whenever I'm transporting these things about, I always put the locking mechanism on. So let's have a go then. So there you can see I'm cutting above a bloat bud. And uh, because uh, that was only thin to cut, I only had to use the uh, one click mechanism on this, these uh, cutters. But I'll show you one that's a bit thicker. I'm sure I am, it works. So I'm cutting into that now. You can see there, look. And here's the second mechanism. When, it re when it's released, the second mechanism comes into play when you squeeze it again. And there it is. Well, the sad news is that I've had a look at the bud layer 
and I can't cut it like I want to cut it I'm going to have to go right back to the stem and you can see where something stood on there and it split the bully right back now it may die off when I've cut it back I don't know I hope I've not lost it but it looks as though that's a strong possibility oh that is a shame um, you can see how thick the wood is um, it's been in there quite a long time uh, dear oh dear that is bad hmm. anyway that's not the end of it I hope I hope we can get some more out of it next year but certainly we're not going to be able to get anything off that one that will die off it's all dead it's all split away there well I'm afraid I'm really saddened about this this is the first piece off and that would have been fantastic for next year cutting that back a little bit and producing more flowers for the butterflies uh, absolutely nothing I can do about it so I'm now going to try and cut that down into small parts, pieces so I can put that as green waste so uh, here we are then about half an hour later uh, the huge branch you saw before has been cut down into uh, an easy manageable pile which is going to fit into the bin without a problem um, the largest piece there could be cut in half again and uh, maybe I'll do that later but unfortunately it looks as though rain's on its way and I don't know if I'll get any more work done to this bodily but I'll try it. Well, I would say let's take me uh, maybe two hours. And you can see what a difference it all makes now. All that corner's uh, clear. And unfortunately the buddly uh, may never recover from that. Well, there's still a couple of uh, side shoots on with leaves on and buds on um, but whatever happened there is uh, just about ruined it I would say anyway uh, we'll just now have a look at how much is uh, in the bin So the bin was empty this morning, emptied by the bin men and lady actually, and uh, of course that will all break down, and it will be about a quarter full when it's broken down a bit, when it's settled. So we've done well. And my wife's given me a hand to clean up a little bit, and I'm pleased with the job done, and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed my uh, vlog, please click the free subscribe and free uh, like buttons. That will help the channel a little bit.